All right, you guys, Dave Mad Max 6, and we are back at the Mecca, and I'm back today with the beautiful Olga Karavayeva, right? From yes. Ukraine. There you go, there you go. And is it your boyfriend, your husband? You guys are married, or? Uh, there you go. You guys are always together. Yeah. Yes. That's nice to have you guys. So, you just came back from yet another show. We're going to train some what today? What, what are we going to train? Oh, we're going to train legs today. Legs, yes. Yeah, I had my last show this year. Uh, in Florida, like past Saturday. So okay. It was Florida Victory Pro. So I'm done, and now I will have a little bit rest. Oh, you, oh, you, I know. That's what happens after you're done competing. You kind of like, oh man, there's no show coming up. It's yeah, it's like the the blues. Yes. From oh, okay. So are you are you gonna be uh, are you gonna be uh, I don't want to say fat, getting fat during the holidays. Are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna eat, or what's gonna happen now? No, I'm not going to eat because I have other shoes. I have video shoes. Awesome! I have a lot of work ahead. So that's great. Yeah. That's how, that's what keeps you going. We'd love to hear that. All right, we're gonna get in there. We're back at the Macau, guys. We're gonna do some legs with Olga, and that should be good. Thanks for having us again. So we'll talk a little bit in the end because last time we didn't get a chance to talk. Yes. All right. Thanks, you guys.
I guess we wrapped up a little sick leg workout just three days after Olga's last show and you wouldn't tell she just competed because she just went at it. Olga, I'm really glad we got the, the chance to, uh, to shoot again and to talk this time because last time we were a little pressed for time so we didn't have the time to do a little interview and I really wanted to talk to you because you and your husband, what's your husband's name again? His name is Pavel Prontenko. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't say it. <laughs> um, you've been here for, for a while now. How long have you been at uh, in Venice? We have been living in Los Angeles for one year and a half. Okay. We moved here from Ukraine because I won my pro card. Like before that, I'm world champion, European champion. Wow. And um, when you turn pro, you have like to compete somewhere. In Europe, yeah. we have only like about two shows per year, yeah. and that's it. So all the shows are in the US. Yeah. So we decided to move here. Nice. Um, and now we are really happy that we live here. We like that. We like to train in golf gym. <laughs> Who doesn't? Huh? <laughs> yes. But you didn't come here right away. You actually went to Florida first. You told me. No, we oh. went to Florida just to compete. Oh, I see, I see. I thought you were living there first and then you no, came no, here. No, no. Oh, okay, I misunderstood then. So California. you came straight to California? Yes. Yeah, why go anywhere else, right? Yeah, I don't like I like climate here. I like gold gym here. Yeah. Like, um, I think all the industry, our bodybuilding industry is here in Los Angeles. And I hate cold. <laughs> I, I don't like winter. Is that why you left Russia? Because that's cold there. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's true. <laughs> every country, every person that I know that are from either back east or New York or Massachusetts or I'm from Canada, you know, Russia, that's cold. That's cold. And when you ask them, yeah. why did you move here? Bodybuilding and weather. Yes. Always, right? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> because it works so hard to actually get yourself in shape. You want to have, you know, a chance to be able to compete, like you said. But also, it's a lot more motivating to stay in shape all yeah. the time because yeah. it's always nice here, right? Yeah. So... Uh, talk to me about the last two shows you did. How, how did I go? You were uh, you so competed first twice. So my show this year was Diana Kado show yeah. uh, in Miami, Florida. So I placed uh, eighth. Okay. Um, I was like, I was satisfied with my. Yeah, shape. top ten. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it was good. Next show, it was like in two weeks after that, Florida Victory Pro in Boca Raton. So, okay. Um, like a little bit different judges. Uh, um, and um, I was out of top 10 okay so I was really disappointed with that but like you know you never know what you never judges know want. and did like, you get some feedback from the judges did they say yeah, I got some feedback okay uh, good um, so judge said to me I was over conditioned oh really <laughs> oh yeah yeah because you were so in really good shape you never know what they want sometimes they say you are soft uh, other time they say you are over conditioned. It's a little so, frustrating. Yes. <laughs> so for, from show to show, yeah. you have different opinions. Yeah. From the judges. But were you happy with yourself? Yeah. Well, that's all that matters, yeah. right? Talk to me about your husband, because your husband actually beat me last year. The yes, frig, you did the frig. Yes. No, he competes as well. So talk yeah, to me a little bit about. Yeah, he competes in MPC in bodybuilding heavyweight. Nice. And last year he won uh, um, Buferini's show, yep. and he took second place at Excalibur show. Okay, in, in December. December. Okay. Yeah, December. So um, he did really good shape, and yep. uh, I should say uh, it matters a lot that we are here in U.S. and in Los Angeles because all the preparation differs from preparation in uh, Ukraine. Really? And in Europe, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he um, did a lot. He, like he 
take him to the next level. He learned a lot here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all the best are here, you know, the Charles Glass and all the best yeah. trainer, the best nutritionist. You have access here, where yes. back home it's probably harder. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like he has a lot of athletes uh, all over the world. Most of them are in Ukraine, Russia, uh, and he prepares athletes for competitions. And his athletes, they won like uh, high uh, prizes, they place high yeah. uh, at European World Championships. Oh, nice. So, yeah. That's awesome. He has a lot of champions. <laughs> That's awesome. So how is it to be a couple like yourself who's a pro bodybuilder and top NPC competitor? Is it, is it nice to actually have a partner that does the same thing you do or is it a lot of stress sometimes? No, it's very good. It's good. Because yeah. nobody, if you're a bodybuilder, nobody will understand you if right. that person does not do the same you right know? because like the dieting all your mood like uh, the sacrifices if you like your yeah. shape or not like nobody will understand you except bodybuilders yeah so it helps a lot how long have how long have you guys been together uh six years six years okay very nice uh, and so my husband, he wants like to uh, to say that there is a big difference between like uh, contest prep in Europe and contest prep in the US because in Europe people are almost hungry. They like don't eat um, a lot before competition. They starve they themselves. Don't have like power. They don't have strength. You know, oh, they boy. are very stressed. And, um, a lot more suffering. Yes, yeah. a lot. But here, he was really surprised because um, um, we work here with nutritionist Dave Kalik. Yeah. And he was really surprised that he was not hungry during contest prep. Isn't is that he nice? Was eating. <laughs> he had cheat meals one week before the show. Wow. And his shape was great. Yep. So in Europe, it's different because yeah. people don't eat. Um, yeah. Like a lot. They eat like birds. They even yeah. are afraid to eat, eat potatoes. Oh or wow. Something like yam, you know. So they here's can, better. Yeah. It's better. I right, well thank you so much to, for uh, talking to us, for shooting with us. We're gonna shoot with your husband next time you can peace because I know he's got yeah. a show coming. <laughs> So you, you, maybe you'll, you'll have to translate again because I know he's he's working on his English. <laughs> yeah. He talks a little bit. He talks a little bit. So you get a, a few months to practice your English because you need to talk next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, thank guys. You. All thank right. you. Thank you, Dave.